people don't realize about Cardin is really it's the it's the closest power to weight weight ratio of an F1 car. I mean, we're going 110 miles an hour, a couple of millimeters off the ground. You know, it's definitely a thrill. You, you find even at the F1 drivers, they step into go-karts all the time for training and to kind of get the thrill back in them. Karting is my life. We run a family business here. My brother and I have uh, grew up at the track, and to be quite honest, dude, we wouldn't change it for the world. Part of my role here at Goodwood Kartways is the constant promotion of the sport of karting, trying to educate people about the sport and tell them what it's all about. Karting, from a parent's perspective, is great for the kids because number one, you get to spend all that time with your kids. My own son was still 18 years old, was still racing, and I spent nearly every weekend with him. And there's not too many parents can say that about their 18-year-old kid. I had raced motorcycles for a few years, and then once I was done with that, I wanted to continue racing something that wasn't a three-day venue. The karting kind of caught my eye because it's a great venue. You come in, you practice, you qualify, you race, and you go home. I wanted to uh, try something with a bit of speed. I'm glad I did. I don't regret it. It was a blast. Carden in Canada is growing year after year. We have great support from uh, our sanctioning body, ASN Canada. They've done a great job, you know, developing drivers and, and moving them on through the ranks of motorsports. Uh, through great programs like the Snoka Ron Fellow Series and most recently the Eastern Canadian Karting Championship, we've been able to bring young drivers and kind of allow them to make a name for themselves and move on to bigger and better things in the sport. Our Arrive and Drive program is designed for the rookie or the beginner. So anywhere from 8 years old all the way up to 74 years of age, which is our oldest participant in the 2013 series. Uh, racing is scheduled on a bi-weekly basis of your choice, uh, and we race rain or shine, uh, daytime or night. Um, being designed as a house league and open to the public allows people that could never have gotten to karting before uh, get into the sport, learn all about it, and the nicest part about the program is this is where we're finding our young crop of drivers uh, that are representing Team Canada at the Rotax World Championships, guys that are moving up into Formula Car Racing, uh, and they get started right here at Goodwood Cartways. I figured it would be a great start instead of having to buy my own equipment, and the carts were great, and the, the competition was amazing and fierce, and I got to scratch that itch, so, so to speak. You know, once karting gets under your skin, it, you know, it just kind of follows you around, and it's something you always feel the need to do. As far as the popularity of karting, right now I think we're on an incline. It's becoming more popular again than it has over the past few years. And things like the Arrive and Drive series have, have contributed to that. You know, I think it's one of the central hubs for grooming these young kids that have gone on to do great things in racing. And it's all professionally organized and set up. They supply helmets, gloves, obviously the carts, and they're all sort of late model, up to date, carts that are in great shape. They're not beaters, they're, uh, you know, it's really good equipment. You get to a point where uh, karting is a lifestyle. Uh, it's not just about showing up and doing an event and then going home and forgetting about it. Uh, you leave the racetrack and before you know it you're already thinking about what you need to improve on and what you can do better for the next event. Drivers graduate from the Canadian Rookie Karting Championship and have a better understanding of the, what the sport of karting entails and what it's all about. Uh, at Goodwill Kartways we have a full service kart shop and we have a, a team that builds these carts, uh, we sell carts new and used uh, and a lot of these drivers directly from the Canadian Rookie Karting Championship purchase their own carts and get involved at the club level with the Toronto Racing Association of Carters. I felt like I was at the, the stage where I could run my own cart. You know, I'm racing at their club level in the Masters uh, Rotax. You know, you put your helmet on, you feel like a gladiator, and it's just like you against everyone else, and stress of life from the week uh, just disappears, and you just focus on, uh, you know, hunting down the competition or getting the win, and the, the adrenaline rush is uh, like nothing else I've ever experienced. I think Goodwood, if you add the long track configuration, creates a good balance of speed and technicality. The one thing I will tell you is that it's a very highly competitive environment. It is a very well run and very efficient race environment. When you're on the track, you're out there, you're by yourself, you have to think for yourself, you have to react on your own. I think it's learning how to do all of that. 
And most importantly, I think he's learning how to lose and be gracious about that. And I think he's learning how to win and be equally as gracious about that. My friends, they think it's really cool. And I'm really proud of being a member of Goodwood and just being in the sport. I mean, in my opinion, the sport of karting is contagious. We see it uh, daily uh, with the eight-year-old getting involved first and before you know it, uh, dad's getting into the sport as well. I remember growing up in karting and my family was, uh, was at the track together, uh, whether it was highs or lows, trying to deal with some of the obstacles and uh, overcome some of these challenges. Um, but it's a bonding experience and it's something that I grew up and now I'm very thankful for. Uh, and I think the sport is offering that same platform to families today. Karting has really turned into a family sport. Like my dad does the arrive and drive, my grandpa also does the arrive and drive, my little brother started getting into karting. And so the whole family is pretty much into racing right now. Karting's become more internationally known uh, with great programs through the Rotax community. You know, we've had races like the World Championships where the Canadians have participated and done fairly well for the last several years. It's something that's really brought karting to every household and, you know, we, we've become a, a sport now where people, you know, don't think as karting as the rental carts that go 20 kilometers an hour, but the real racing carts where all the F1 drivers start from. As the sport of karting continues to grow across Canada, uh, one of the nice things that I see is a lot of collaboration between provinces like Quebec and Ontario. The introduction of the Eastern Canadian Karting Championship has been a great program um, that continues to develop our talent uh, on this side of the border. But bringing two provinces that are fairly strong in the sport together and competing against each other on a, on a circuit just means that you have no choice but to be on your A game. It's great to see all the different variations of people that come to race on a race day from the the privateer with the tiny little box trailer to the, uh, the guys that come in with a motor home and a 35 foot trailer with a complete machine shop inside of it. It's very interesting to see that the results at the end of the day are it's the best driver that usually 99% of the time wins. It's not the equipment. It's nice to know how to set up a cart and a lot of these guys are doing it well but it's not all about the money, it's about the training and the touch that these drivers have. A common misconception in karting is, uh, you know, the, the driver with the biggest pocketbook wins the most races and, you know, I'll be honest, it helps. It helps uh, bring the best mechanics to the team, it helps uh, getting the most laps on the track, but, uh, you know, at the end of the day, it's the driver with the most talent that wins the races. It's a sport where, thanks to our Rotax powered engine, where you know, everyone's on an equal playing field and uh, the best driver wins the race. We really take pride on developing drivers and giving drivers the equipment that they need to go out there and win what, whatever level they choose to participate. Uh, whether that's on, a, you know, your Saturday schedule at the club level or at the national level where we're competing against the best and the best in the country, um, we offer tools that allow drivers to succeed in whatever format they choose.